Hello again, Daniel here again. Uh, bringing more Dwarf Fortress. In our last part, we covered burrows, farming, and military. Uh, quite a bit, I feel like, but in this next part, uh, I'm going to go ahead and try and cover uh, a few things. I'm going to try and cover, first of all, trading once again, uh, nobles once again, and I think that should be more or less it. Looks like one of our animals has starved to death, but nobody cares. Uh, ideally, I should have had a butchery. As you can see here, we do have a few sleeping quads entirely made out of iron. That's pretty cool. Uh, but as you can see, our farm is nice and irrigated now. And oh my god, why is that made of ice? Oh yeah, because it's winter. It looks like this is quite a cold area uh, to embark in. But we can go ahead and make our first farm plant. So is that... Oh no, it's a cotton. Oh, well, that's a miracle. Uh, and now from here, I'm going to go ahead and build a workshop. You for butchery and for tannery. Uh, let's see, for kitchen. Uh, what else is that? H for fishery. Uh, and what? There's something else. L for still. Oh, it looks like it's a perfect size for all of my, all five of my workshops. I'm also going to set this as a food stockpile. So we can put all of our food near. Uh, we also still have our lever back there. As you can see, it's all nice and watery in here, and it's all got a dusting of mud. This is what's required. Uh, that's basically the irrigation of the farm. That's what irrigates it and allows us to use it as a farm. But I'm going to go ahead and remove all this stuff in here. Uh, stop putting us down some beds so our dwarves can sleep. Oh my god, I have so many beds. I have 44 at the minute. That's quite a few. Uh, I think, yeah, there should be enough for our dwarves currently. I don't have that many at the minute. I have a fair amount though. Uh, possibly more than I've ever had. No, not more than I've ever had. Uh, but a fair bit. Uh, but at the minute, one thing I also need to do is I need to go ahead and make nobles quarters. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So I'm just going to... Uh, let's see how I've done this. So I've made a free way to go to either side. Hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and do it like this. And down, 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 down. And I'm going to make it go down and then go up from here and then we make these come together oh that's our position there we go and I'm gonna count actually I won't count I'll just try and do it one two three four five one two three four five yeah it's perfect so now we're gonna go ahead and extend up here and then I'm gonna make my nobles quarters quite big as well I'm sure you saw me make nobles quads before. I quite like them looking like this. It's the fairly sizey. They don't need to be huge, but later on they will need to be a bit bigger because uh, nobles tend to get more demands as they go on. But I'm going to go ahead and make ourselves a manager slash record keeper. So first of all, bookkeeper will be our... He will also be our manager and our broker. So who is that? That's Eshtan. Uh, so broker, Eshtan, where are you, boy? Eshtan. He's also a pacifier, so that's all good stuff for us. Uh, but obviously, like, I, like I've uh, covered before, nobles have demands, and we're going to have to make him a nice, meager office. Ah, and nothing to notice the fact that this is not symmetrical. It's something I need to fix. I'll just point out my brother. Point out by my brother, rather. So I'm going to remove that, and there we go. It would be a terrible shame if they weren't symmetrical. Uh, so we do have them in a nice amount of beds at the minute for this. Uh, it's going to take us a long time to remove all this stone to be able to... Uh, have our forest nice and clean, but for now, it's okay. And we also have no empty buckets. I'm going to go ahead and make a, a few buckets. Uh, I also need that. I'm sure I need something else from here. Hmm. No, I guess I didn't. Uh, I could make a few spins and crutches, but for now, you know, we don't have a, a hospital, so don't really worry about it. One thing that would be very great, which is probably what I'm going to do, is uh, I did mention when I first made my when I first made my hospital, it's very good for your hospital to have a water source. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to make my hospital somewhere back here. And in the hospital, uh, you know, obviously I'm going to have quite a few beds, but I'm going to put it over here and then actually, hmm, maybe that's not such a good idea because it won't have water all year round because... You know, it's uh, not in sight, so maybe I'll make it elsewhere. But I'm going to try and make my hospital so it'll have a, a water source somewhere. So kind of messing around with water again. Quite a dangerous thing as it managed to kill me once, which isn't good at all. But I'm going to go ahead and start digging down. So I'm just going to dig past here and in here. This could spell danger for me, but I don't think it will. Let's see, does this fit? It does, perfect. Oh, no, it doesn't. So I need to go ahead and extend this again a little bit. Just trying to make it all as tight as possible. Let's 
seeds as fit. Yeah, it's fine. In fact, I can probably make it a bit tighter. Yeah, fits. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this one. And now I can go down nicely like this into the earth. Uh, one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this here area my barracks first of all before I go anywhere else. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I can't remember if I said anything I was gonna cover specifically in this tutorial. Uh, I guess I could do traps again, but I have already done traps, so I don't think I will. Uh, but yeah, this is a very nice place to go down into the earth. But I also need to hotkey this. So I'm gonna hotkey this as F. Actually, no, I'm gonna go ahead and hotkey my. This is F3, this is gonna be nobles now. Just a bit higher. This can be F4. For four, farm slash food. And down one more, and this could be. Oops. Barracks. One, two, three, four, five. Great. So that's all hotkeyed. Pardon me. And quite a sizable barracks. But obviously we do have some military, so it will be required. And looks like that's one of my dead animals. Uh, let's see, is my butchery and tannery actually complete? Yes, it is. Oh, no, it's not. My tannery is though, but I'd quite like my butcher to get in there soon so I can uh, I can start uh, killing some animals for some food. But at the minute, we will have our plump helmet production as well, so alcohol production up very shortly. So at the minute, we're in a very good state. We've got self-sustainability partially. We have some water, which we can make a well out of, not a deadly well that'll kill me like the like the last game. We don't want that to happen again. Uh, but we can quite easily make ourselves a hospital as well because of this. But at the minute, obviously, we can't. Uh, I could make a dam again. The problem that I did, though, was because of the dam pressurised the water incredibly, which isn't good. And I don't know what my dwarves are trying to give water. Oh, we have no drinks. Oh, god damn it. Oh... God damn it, and I don't have any stone crafter. Okay, this hasn't actually been fought very well. Oh my god, I'm, I'm playing so bad. Okay, but I'm gonna go ahead and make some money. I, okay, this guy's gonna be my new stone crafter. Uh, but I need to sell something for some alcohol here. Oh, I'm probably good. Well, I'm not gonna die, but I'm not gonna be in a very good position. So, where's our stone crafter? Right here. So, one thing you should do is you should always make sure that you have stone crafter. Uh, stone crafting going up. Uh, before I do, otherwise, you will be in a bad place like this. And it's not good at all. Because now we have no water at all. Uh, but I can obviously delve down into the earth and find ourselves some water. But at the minute, our miners are a bit busy for something like that. In fact, is there... No, there won't be any water over here. There is a frozen murky pool. Uh, but hopefully our traders should be able to provide us with uh, something. Which was fast now, as you can see, they're coming in now. And they're uh, taking out all this stuff. So I'm going to request the trader. And let's see what I can sell. Hmm. Anything good? I guess I could sell some barrels. Some meat. Sell a few fish barrels. Oh, I don't really want it because that's got a lot of stuff in it. I don't want to lose food for the sake of it. Uh, uh, I've got a lot of that. I've got a few barrels. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna sell a few beds, a few nicely crafted beds that I have. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to buy a little bit with that. Uh, maybe a door, a throne, and a table. I don't know, maybe they'll like that kind of thing. Uh, it's obviously not something huge, but it's something that's okay. As you can see, everybody's driving that now, and we can trade. So let's see, how much does it sell for? It sells for a fair amount. Maybe we can get some alcohol for that. I'm just going to let them bring the rest of their oh, good stuff first. So we have all these. So I'm going to sell all these, and in return, I request... I could get quite a bit of wood, actually, as well. Uh, that's too bad. So let's find ourselves some beer barrels. Wine barrel, ale barrel, oh, please sell me this. Okay, it looks like he's okay with that. So I now have 80 drinks, so that's actually uh, quite a bit. Enough to, uh, to feed us for now. Uh, we also have a little bit of this. I'm also gonna assign my noble, I need to assign him settings, high position, so then we can actually have a precise number in our stocks menu rather than a vague number, uh, which we obviously do have at the minute. And doors are still asking for water, but that's they will get uh, water pretty soon. Let's see if we've got any doors actually. Yeah, let's go ahead and put down some doors in our bedrooms. One thing you can do if you lack uh, lack uh, the uh, beds to uh, actually uh, actually uh, make like uh, bedrooms for each individual dwarf. One thing you can do is you can make something called a dormitory, which basically means you know it's a shared bedroom. Uh, but we're going to free this bed just so anybody can use it. 
because we I don't really have enough for uh, specific uh, specific beds for specific dwarves, so we're going to leave that be for now. Uh, obviously, our farm is getting a fair bit done on it. We should be able to uh, gain some self sustainability in that pretty soon. We've also struck some damp stone. Why is this? That's because the there's still a little bit of water above, but that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and re resign that. And as well as that, I did mention that we're going to start our start coal production. I am going to do that as soon as our wood burner. Yeah, our wood burner is going to come along, burn some one bit of charcoal. This is all we need. So as soon as we've got a charcoal, in fact, one thing I need to do is well, I need to make a bar slash block stockpile. In fact, I'm going to extend upon this as well so I can make more room for my bar slash blocks. Okay, and this is asking what we request. Uh, really, we don't need anything, so I'm going to actually leave that be. You know, I have everything I need for steel, so we're okay. So there we go. We do have our one bit of coal there now. Uh, charcoal rubber. I'm going to reinitiate that, and I'm going to start melting coke from Bitmus Coal and coke from Lignite. I'm going to set down repeat on both of my smelters. I will have uh, two smelters soon, so it'll actually be useful to have two smelters. Uh, and our fort is now constructed. And... Uh, yeah, everything's good enough for us. We should have steel production up very soon. As you can see, there we go. We're going to make some nice fuel here. It will come up pretty soon with our fuel. Uh, this is what our traders are requesting. So they want meat, they'll give a good price for, and tanned hides are another good price. Uh, but I'm also going to make, uh, go ahead and kill some animals. So we can kill the yak cow, buffalo bill, gander, it's a fully grown animal, duckling and rooster. We're going to leave them be, because we do have our butchery now. And our oh, little traders are saying goodbye to me. Let's see, he's down here. Yes, it is uh, complete. So I'm going to go ahead and remove all the stone from here as well. Uh, and put down bed, bed, chair, chair, table, table, chair, chair, armory, cabinet, cabinet, weapon rack, cabinet, cabinet, uh, Chair, chair, table, table, chair, chair. Obviously you can put anything you want here, but this is just uh, generic stuff that uh, they will very much appreciate. And we're gonna go ahead and smooth this as well, which they, again, will also appreciate very much. Uh, so I think we're done for traders right now. Uh, and we are not gonna die. This is a good thing, you know, we've survived like more than a year. I think it, it said it was spring, did it? No, it's a winter's upon me, so we haven't survived more than a year yet. But we're the first we've ever been, more or less. And I will be covering moods and forgotten beats, uh, beasts in uh, a few different, a few, uh, a few different, uh, a, a few parts from now. But at the minute, I am going to probably be finished for today. I've done a fair amount. I've covered embarking in a mountain, uh, terraforming outside, and preparing our fort. Uh, and burrows farming and military, as well as that, I've covered trading again in a little bit more depth, uh, and. As well as that, uh, I've made a barracks and farm, and we're in good places. And we haven't hit a, a, a cavern yet, because obviously caverns are dangerous and we don't really want to dabble in them. Uh, so thank you very much for watching, uh, and I hope you watch my next plots. Uh, merchants are now leaving, and everything's going all over the place, because they're packing it all up. But yeah, again, if you want to have a dwarf, feel free to put it in the comment section below. And I'll make you a dwarf, because at the minute we have no named dwarves because I haven't actually uploaded any of these videos. Uh, so thank you, and goodbye.